All right, guys, so as with almost any new trailer that comes out, we have new Pokemon revealed, and they are pretty cool ones, actually. Um, we finally have something that isn't a basic Route 1, but then we have kind of another um, new start to game Pokemon, Fido. And kind of just jumping right into it, it is a very tight puppy, so... Um, so this is our second kind of puppy-ish Pokemon of a generation. We had, um, Yamper in Sword Shield, so that, that's cool. But it's got own tempo. I'm pretty sure a few of these mods have had own tempo, or maybe none of them. Wow, I'm tripping. But <laughs> it was revealed yesterday during the, um, what was it? The Pokemon Presents, and that's pretty cool. Fido's Moist. Smooth skin has elastic qualities and is both firm and soft at the same time. When these Pokemon become excited, they intimidate their opponents by puffing up their bodies to appear bigger. Okay, that's cool. Could be an exclusive move to have to do with that. Fido ferments things in its vicinity using yeast and its breath said yeast is useful for cooking since so Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. So, it's literally a Pokemon made out of dough. This is literally what we are dealing with. Well, that's kind of crazy. So it's cool, but I think this one is cooler. Sea Titan. Say Titan, I don't know. Sea Titan is an ice type, and it is the Terra Whale. So we have a whale Pokemon. We've had a few whales, but this is a cool whale. It's a pure ice type. Now, I don't use ice types that often. But this one might have to go on the team, because this thing is cool. It's got thick feathers and ability and slush ash. I think that makes you faster doing a snowstorm or something. It's a chunky boy, 1,500 pounds. Oh, damn. Dang. 14 feet. This is a big boy. Say so Titan needs to have tough muscles to be able to support their immense bodies and physical attacks using their bodies have incredible power. So... I can already see this thing being extremely slow, but a very heavy hitter. Very cool. They also migrate around the snowy regions, protected by a thick layer of subcontentious fat. Um, there is a map revealed. I may do a video going over the uh, map of the region. That'd be kind of cool. Um, AC Titan has five horn or five hard horns? Question mark. Among them, the horns on the upper jaws are able to gather ice energy, making the surrounding temperature extremely low. And freezing the area around the Pokemon. So this is gonna be a um gonna be a boy. <laughs> He's gonna be strong. And even even with the um legends we already knew, we got a lot revealed about them. Like the fact that you can ride on them. That's really cool. There's no point in making a whole separate video about the fact that you can ride on them. It's it's better to just discuss it now because it's a cool thing. So instead of having like a bike or TMs, because you know, they've gotten rid of TMs ever since Gen 7. But now you do everything on the legendaries. You fly on them. You swim on them. You ride them like by this. Coriodon's been memed. Then there's Miraidon. This is what I'm excited about. This, he looks cool. I'm sorry, but he look, literally, it's literally a freaking speed bike. Like, I knew from the start when I saw this legendary, I wanted to get Violet. Because this legendary just looks so cool. And it, it, it has to be an electric type. There's no way it's not. Electric Steel is kind of my prediction, but if it's not Steel, I'm it's still Electric. But the bike is super, like, I feel like this is top tier. I mean, he's just freaking memed, like, I don't want to ride on that. Like, he's, he's all right, but, you know, when you have these, I'm like, I'm getting Violet. There's no question about it. But, um, there may be version exclusives that won't change my mind, but... <laughs> Yeah, so there wasn't, like, a ton of new Mons released, though. We did, however, if I go back... There was one more Mon that was released that we didn't get to actually see. And that's Paldean Wooper, right here. A Poison Ground type. So I think if I go to the, um... Alright guys, so my um, computer was kind of acting up when I went to um, switch the Alpidium form. So you might have noticed a weird cut. But we are here on the um, Paldean form page. And we have Wooper, a new form of Wooper. And Japanese name is Upa. Upa Lupa. Um, but it is Wooper, it's a Paldean form. It's the first one released. Um, if you watched my leak video, I'm pretty sure this was leaked along with Evolution. 
But we don't know if there's an evolution yet, so... But... It's a Poison Ground type. Uh, 24 pounds. He's a, a big boy. He has Poison Point and Water... Water Absorb! Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a good ability for him, because that just completely... Mitigates a, um... A weakness. He won't be weak to water. Oh, that's cool. That makes sense, too, because, you know... I live in some muddy water, but, you know... Wooper is revealed during the film. Since in ancient times, Wooper lived underwater in the Pali region, but it, it seems after losing its struggle for territory, they began living in bogs on lands to keep them from dying out. Living on land, they began to cover their bodies with a poisonous form. As Wooper's gills have hardened thanks to the living land for so long, their bodies have heavy and they're more slow, but they can protect themselves by shooting powerful poisons, so you may see poison point areas where these Wooper live. Intro okay, so this is interesting because they're bringing a new dynamic. You may see poison Pokemon in areas where these Wooper live. So you could go to an area, and what if you could just find a wild Pokemon that's poisoned? That'd be an interesting mechanic. Like, imagine they get an electric type that shocks Pokemon around them for survival, and they're paralyzed, and you find them in the area. It'd be kind of cool. It'd be a neat find because it's like, oh, easy catch, right? But um, this is pretty cool. It follows the trend that I think a lot of... Um, it, it seems a lot of forms have taken lately where it's just about, like, it's about their evolutionary traits and how they've had to survive. Like, Zoro and Zoroark, for example, Kashui, and I'm, I, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, you know, they were hunted and now they're ghost types or whatever. And then you have Corsola, who's a ghost because it just died. It was, like, hunted down or something, so... They're taking these new forms and they're creating stories behind them, and I don't remember if they really did that in Sun and Moon. I, I could be extremely wrong, but I really noticed that during Sword Shield that they take initiative to make stories off of these new forms, and I really like that. Because in Pokemon, because um, the Orange Islands, we knew new Pokemon got colors and stuff. Like They had differences because of Tropical. So it made sense in Alola that some Mons were naturally different. But then you get to these new regions and it's like the climate is so similar to other regions like Kanto or Johto. Why are these new forms here? And they're actually creating stories on why. So I really like that. Um, you can read it up here. Star of Cinnamon, Scar Bio, introduce new variants. Paul Deans, these variants are unique to the game at the time of release. This page is in detail. So this is really cool. Um, it also means probably the original ones will be in the game as well when the home comes out. So that's going to be awesome. But that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Your boy Jim is signing out. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Um, check out links. Check out the links in the description. Discord. Twitch, Twitter, all that fun stuff, and um, I hope everyone has an awesome day, and tell me what you think about these new forms in the comments, and the new Pokemon in general.